For us, the original speed range of both Woods and Irons by Ben Ross was a, was a huge stepping stone for the brand last year. It really made an impact, it impressed and it maintained the impressive price points that we'd seen from previous years. This year sees the Speed 2 offering and what they've done really well and one of the main focuses is quality components. You'll straight away see you've got the excellent Golf Pride multi-compound grip, you have an Aldila Trinity shaft and you have a head that looks great both behind the ball and on the shelf. All of this coming in at a very competitive price again in both drivers, fairways and hybrids. Um, I've just been testing the hot speed driver. Now this sits right in the middle of the Ben Ross line. At one end you have the rip speed which they say is the players club. It should produce a penetrating flight, offer a bit more work ability, help to keep spin down and then at the other end of the scale you have the max speed which looks very forgiving at address, oversized head, deep face, lots of loft, very easy to hit. This like I say is hot which sits right in the middle of the two and, and for me as the driver that will appeal to most golfers. Now there's been a lot of talk in the industry about having plenty of loft on the club. Interestingly this mid product has 12 degrees of loft on it and combined with this Trinity shaft which is very consistent but also helps the ball get airborne without it spinning too much. This for me means it's very forgiving. I've been hitting it out on the golf course and the driving range today and really felt like I could be aggressive and go at the ball a little bit because of the forgiveness on offer. Now this is achieved at a, at a good looking head and what I really like about it is the face looks like it's got loads of loft on it. It looks like you don't need to force the ball up in the air, you can just go at it and it will get the ball up in the air without spinning it too much. Um, the very square lines on the face and into the crown make it really easy to set up. I straight away felt confident I was aiming this in the right place. Um, like I say, excellent Trinity Aldila shaft along with a Golf Pride grip. Um, there aren't too many drivers out there that pound for pound value for money will offer you this sort of performance. So if you want to try a driver that you're looking to get the ball up in the air, not spin too much, plenty of forgiveness, this one should definitely be on your test list.